Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to Ogre Speed Shop. Today we're going to talk about setting the pinion angle on the Firebird with the new suspension. So we're going to cover that, we're going to cover some little science on that, how it should work and different ways of setting it up and basically the ways not to set it up. So stand by and enjoy the video. Okay, so we're getting in here and we're setting our pinion angle right now. And the first reading I'm taking is one on the bottom of the yoke of the transmission yoke. So it's showing 4.40. So that's my reference point for the front. And that's 4.4 down, so it's pointing down towards the back of the car. Now I'm gonna move to the back here, rid of the car set up. And I forgot the angle meter. I'll grab that real quick. So I'm gonna take that. So I'm gonna move back here to the base of this one. And you see we got about 2.1. So we want to get a difference between that and that's pointing up. That's 2.1 up. So we want that difference in the angle to be between like half inch or one and two inches or one and two degrees. So that needs to go up a little bit. So I need to crank it up just a little bit. Try to get that two degrees out of it. I'm going to do this a little bit more accurately on something better because I don't think that yoke is exactly straight. The front's good, but the rear, wow, I went way too far. I about flipped it over. Okay. See if I get this in here. Ouch. So I got 11.2. Let's go down a little bit more. Maybe. And move that down until we see about three. Okay, 2.0 is a little bit too much. I'm pushing the jet right now, so it's kind of there. So that puts us closer to like one inch. Let's see if I can get it closer to three. He's going too far. Uh. All right, so now we're at three degrees. So that's a, about a one and a half degree difference between the front and the back. So now when, I, when you accelerate the car, that'll tip up. So it'll tip up this way and it'll level it out to where your pinion angle becomes straight. And that's where you avoid those vibrations. This thing's just moving on its own now, probably because I'm leaning on it and whatnot. But that's one way of finding your pinion angle. You just take the angle from the front whether it be down or up, and then you do an up or down pinion angle on your rear. And you try to set it where there's a difference between like one and, about one and two degrees. <coughs> Some say half inch to one and a half inch. But yeah, if you launch hard, it could go up to two degrees. So I like to go somewhere in the middle, about one, one and a half. So that's what we're looking at right there, about one degree. So that should be a good angle for your pinion. All right, let's get into some pinion angle geometry and information here. So we're first going to start out with a couple of wrong ways of doing it. And mind, don't mind my artistic ability here. I'm not very good. but So this is what we're looking at as a way you don't want to set up a pinion angle. You don't want it to be opposite like this. That will cause a ton of vibration and it's just not going to work good. So let's avoid that. Next one is similar to it. You got an angle down on your yoke and an angle up or another angle down on your pinion. So again, you got that wrong, you don't have a parallel line on that. 
So one way you do want to do it, which is fine, is just like this. Now this is exaggerated. You don't want to go like 20 degrees like I have shown here. I just did it for the picture. But you want those two yokes to be parallel to each other. And if you get that to be parallel to each other, you're going to reduce the vibration in your drive line. And mind you, like I said, it's not going to be 20 degrees like it shows here. It'll be like four degrees, like mine, like we showed on my car when we were setting it up. So this is four degrees down. This was almost three degrees up. So it still keeps it parallel. And it gives me that little bit of a, a kick when the rear end might kick up. But ideally, you want them parallel. That's the... Uh, you know, that's going to be your least amount of vibration. If you can set them up that way, that's great. But yeah, you always want them to be in line with each other. So parallel is a key. So you want your two yokes to be parallel when you're setting up your pinion angle. And that's how you set up a pinion. All right, well, that concludes this video on setting your pinion angle on your vehicle. And I'm doing it with the, the Ridetech floor link suspension for a 6769 Firebird Camaro. And... I uh, went through some of the science of it. You can see those pictures. I know I'm not an artist, but hope this is something that you uh, got some informa good information out of. And next time you set up a pinion angle, give you a better idea of how to do it. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like down there. If you really like my videos and you want to hang out and you know see some more things or check out some of my older videos, go and subscribe. And please leave a comment down there. Let me know what I can do better and what I'm doing wrong. And I appreciate all kinds of comments and any kind of feedback. So we'll see you next time.